Hi, my name is Mika Jain. I'm part of the founding team of Navigans. And I'm Anjan Lahiri, the CEO and founder of Navigans. So Anjan, um, we have a, a, a very young and excited audience here with us today. Um, and you know, we would love, we would have loved to have an interactive session with them. Uh, I know you love to do that and so do I. But of course, uh, neither of us are in India at the moment and with COVID and the time difference, that was really difficult to do. So um, what I thought is that I'm going to play the difficult role of putting myself in a, in a student's shoes. And, and hopefully I will ask you some of the questions that um, the young people in this audience probably have on their minds today. Um, and of course, you know, if we don't cover some of those questions, I know Samit and others are in the room uh, and, and everybody will get a chance to ask other questions that didn't get answered uh, post, you know, our little conversation today. So should we jump uh, straight into it? Go ahead, Mega. Okay. Um, so um, I thought we could start with just introducing Navikins a little. If you can speak a little bit about what Navikins does and, and maybe touch a bit on how is it similar or different to other companies that, you know, people here might be uh, interviewing for as part of their campus placements. So very good question, Megha. You know, what Navikins is, I would like to explain it from the context of what's happening in the whole world what's happening in the world around us, and then what are we doing? So if you look at the whole world, the world has become more and more technology enabled every single day. And technology enablement and the sp speed of technology implementation is just increasing. Now, all of you listening to this, uh, your own world has been changed so much in the last five to 10 years. Imagine how your parents' life has changed. Forget about your grandparents' life. And that speed has only increased in the last and, and in the next, and this has happened in the last 10 years, last five years, what will happen in the next five years and the next 10 years? And what a fantastic time it is to be alive and with the skills and, and, and abilities that all of us have and all of you have and all of you are building. So that's happening in the world. Now what's happening in the world sort of a little bit around us, this huge new area of artificial intelligence. Now artificial intelligence, I believe will fundamentally change the way not only companies, but societies work. Uh, uh, Self-driving cars is just one example, but how societies and companies work fundamentally, it'll change over the next you know, five, 10, 15 years. Now, uh, here I believe, now I'm coming to the smaller area, companies have no idea right now how artificial intelligence will change their life. I think people are, focusing on maybe the 4%, the 5% of what they think they know, the 95% of the areas where this technology can and will have an impact, people have no idea. What Navigance is doing is bringing an AI-enabled future to enterprises in a way that they need to implement. I am a co-founder of Mindtree. I'm the third person chronologically in Mindtree and uh, set up the company in the US, then in London, then I moved to Bangalore and ran the services business of Mindtree globally for five years. And then I picked up a company called Saskin, you know, worked on a turnaround at Saskin. And then I picked up this incredible opportunity at Soft. Set up a company about $150 million and over the next four and a half years, I took it to $500 million, a stable, well-respected company among the top 10 in the industry. Very, very satisfying journey. I learned a lot. In Navigance, we are putting all of those learnings together and taking it to the next step. Because the issue is not about starting companies. So many people can start companies. The issue is not about scaling companies. There are so many companies that have scaled, scaled. But the main thing is how do you create an organization that that really adds value to your customers in a way that people feel good and they learn and they grow. In Navigance, we are not taking a technology and just dumping it. We are not taking a bunch of people and capabilities and dumping it to the customers, but we are going to each of the customers and saying, how can we change your business? How will your business change based on all the technology that is coming? We understand that. We have done that before. And we are bringing that collective capability not to dump some skill sets onto you, but to understand your 
problems and we will come and tell you a technical solution that will help you reach a business goal. And in order in, in doing that, we need a diverse set of capabilities in the company. And most importantly, we need to work together in a way that we learn every day. We treat every customer and every human being independently, differently, and we affect business outcomes as opposed to just pedal technology. That's what Navigance has been doing. Perfect. That was, uh, that was um, you know, such an exciting answer. Even I feel excited. Uh, so, so tell me a little bit about what excites you about the future of Navigance, right? What are the plans ahead for us? And, and you know, what's, what's the exciting stuff out there that you think we are headed towards? So, you know, what excites, I'll tell you what excites me personally, and then I'll tell you what, what excites me as a company and, and overall. You know, personally, I think all of us, at least me, I want to go to sleep every day saying I made a difference. I did something to move, make something slightly better than it was before. And that excites me. And I'm so fortunate that I was born in this industry of technology enablement. Uh, and, and today we are sitting in Navikins on this, you know, for example, if you're digging and you're mining, you know, you, know, you suddenly you're mining, 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 and you keep getting dirt, 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 and suddenly you got a gold vein. And there is a, and then you keep digging and gold comes in a vein and you find that gold vein and we are sitting on that. And that is artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence, which is on two, artificial intelligence is about business processes, about how companies do business. But on the other hand, artificial intelligence is about deep technology. It is about data. It is about data science. It is about you know, machine learning. It is about all these esoteric things that we can impress our grandparents with. But it is to do with improvement of societies and improvement of technology. It is not some complex thing to increase how shares are traded. It is how lives are impacted. That's what excites me. The team that we have, the capabilities that we, we, we are building and we have built, the companies that we are working with, we're going to impact their life. And we're building a team to do that. That excites me, Mega. Very, very cool, uh, Anjan. So, so tell me a little bit about um, how, how do you think Navigance is different? Because I, I know there's many companies who are probably saying something similar, right? So, so what is different about the way Navigance is approaching this problem uh, compared to other companies out there? You know, are we the only company working on AI? <laughs> Absolutely not. But there is a reason why we are not the only company working on AI, because there is a lot happening in AI. You know, there was this old joke saying, hey, why did you rob the bank? I robbed the bank because there's money in the bank. I'm not going to rob, uh, you know, a, a small tea shop somewhere because there's no money there. So we are in AI because there is a lot of work to be done in AI, and we want to do that. But I think we are different. Most of the companies in AI are point solutions. They have come up with one small solution and they are trying to go to every company and saying, hey, you know what? Do you want the solution? Do you want the solution? Do you want the solution? So we are, they are going inside out. Whereas what we are doing is saying, hey, it's not about one technology. It's not about one trick. It is about how fundamental changes happen in companies. And we are going to the companies and saying, hey, how do you run your business? And we will study that and we will be able to tell you how AI can impact you. And as you know, Megha, each of the customer conversations that we are having is so intellectually stimulating because it is, it is something that we also don't know. We are learning every single day, but we understand the technology and we understand the business process and we are able to marry it together. I do not think there are too many companies doing that. Are other people doing it? I'm sure they are. But I don't think the types of capability that we have, the type of intention that we have, and the type of culture and ethos that we are putting together and the depth of technical brilliance and capability I don't think that are that many people uh, mega, uh, and there's enough uh, there's enough fish in the water in any case. No, absolutely, there are. It's a highly contested space, but I do agree with you that you know even my experience, every day we go and speak to a client, it's an entirely different conversation. There's 
so far we've never repeated uh, the same type of solution or even the same type of industry. And so the, the breadth of experience that we get doing our work is just incredible. Uh, it's like being back in consulting, honestly. Um, so um, let's shift gears a little bit. Um, I know that, uh, you know, everybody's probably keen, uh, you know, in a startup, it's always a small team. Um, you know, you work face to face with uh, people every day. So, so tell us a little bit about how you put together the team at Navigans. Who are, you know, what are the kinds of people and, and you know, what did you see in them? And therefore, you know, what do you want to see in the kinds of people that, uh, we would love to have join us uh, from campuses as well. A very good question, Mega. Number one, I'm so very privileged. I'm so fortunate that this team sort of selected me um, and, and we've all come together. And the, the common thing is that we have all worked uh, you know, uh, with each other before. I think in any team, there are two important things. One is what is common. And the second is what is different. What is common is the culture, is the values, is the ethos, is the why did I wake up in the morning? What do I want to do in life? How do I want to treat my fellow human beings? Um, uh, you know, of course, th these are things that basically our mothers and fathers taught us before the age of 13. You know, sp speak the truth, treat people well. These are basic cultures. And I know all, all, all many of you listening to this are young and, and you will hear this throughout your career is the importance of values to success, personal success and organizational success. So values, so what is common? So the people that we have, have a common set of values, which makes them who they are, and that's important. Then the second thing is what is different, is skills, capabilities. The important thing is, what is the different things that we are bringing to each other? How different are we in the way we do stuff? Because that is where, when an army fights a war, they need the infantry, they need the artillery, they need the armored corps, they need the army supply, they need medical. So you need a whole bunch of different skills to fight the same war. Similarly, in, our, in the team that is coming together in Navicans and what we will do, we need people who have commonality of values, but a confluence of different capabilities in order to be able to provide the solutions and, uh, and output that we think customers needs. And, not, and in order to do that, make up common values, confluence of capabilities which are different in order to provide the same destination, which is using technology to improve societies. I think that's what is there in the team mega. And that's why it is so exciting every day. Very cool. Thank you, Anjan. I think that was a great way to introduce Navigans. I hope the audience agrees as well. So look forward to talking to all of you. Look forward to working with some of you. And I wish all of you a phenomenal future and a phenomenal career. Uh, once again, Anjan Lahiri from Navicans. I hope I see some of you. Good luck to you.